Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Chew. I'm Robert Wallace. This is the place where we ask, am I choosing the way of Jesus or am I choosing my own way? Today, we're looking at compassion. Now, the word compassion isn't used in our passage. What is compassion? Compassion fuels acts of kindness and mercy. It's a form of love. Generally, Compassion drives us to action to alleviate suffering, to give to causes against injustices, provide help to those needing clothes or food. In our passage from Luke chapter 6, Jesus is calling us first to love our enemies, to pray for them and bless them that curse and mistreat us. Now, maybe... They come at us from their own pain and suffering. We don't know unless we're willing to look at them more deeply. Maybe they're just trying to protect themselves. In any event, when we think about examples of compassion in the New Testament, I'm always drawn to two examples. Well, two of many. Uh, the two for today are the Good Samaritan from John chapter 5, verses 1 through 8. And the second is Peter and John as they encountered a beggar on their way to the temple to pray who really needed healing. That's in Acts chapter 3, verses 1 through 10. Now the Good Samaritan, he provided everything needed for a man who had been attacked by robbers and left for dead. He took care of him and then made sure that they, the money was available to continue the healing process. In the case of John and Peter, they didn't have coin to give to this beggar who was lame. Instead, they offered him healing in the name of Jesus. So they gave what they could, which was the best. Now, these examples of compassion and action are of individuals or, an in, or a couple of individuals, right? Individually, we need to be engaged. When we see someone in need, begging or hurt, how do we respond? Do we respond with compassion or indifference? Do we judge whether someone is fit for compassion? Do we see others with God's compassion? What are we learning today from the Holy Spirit that we need to be obedient to and take some action of our own today? Are we going to choose the way of Jesus that leads to life and life in the full, or are we going to choose our own way? Now I'm praying for us today that as we read the passage again, read the references that I shared, that before we do, we're going to invite the Holy Spirit to give us eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from His Word. That we're going to have receptive hearts and minds to receive these truths, and then we're going to take action today with the same boldness, commitment, and courage of Jesus in a step of faith. I pray you'll have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.